Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today. I haven't put out a passing scheme, a pure passing scheme uh, this week. I typically try to put out at least one a week. Uh, today, I'm focusing on the Niners. If you guys didn't know, I switched over playbooks to the Niners. I essentially switched from the Green Bay Packers to the 49ers based off of you guys' uh, requests and recommendations. Uh, a couple videos ago, I asked you guys what, you, what video you, or what playbook you wanted me to use to really flush out. And, I mean, there were playbooks that got more votes. The the Raiders and the Saints got more votes. But, ultimately, I wanted to use a book that was kind of new to me because it's a little bit more exciting. And, the, and the, the Saints I've been using forever. The Raiders I've been using forever. But I'll still have plenty of stuff for them. I'm still plotting on a Raiders scheme uh, maybe for tomorrow. Um, but a lot of this stuff here, I mean, I, I really, I couldn't go to the Raiders because the Raiders, I didn't see a gun tight in there. And this is pretty much going to be the basis of my new offense. So I'm going to break this down. I probably have like seven or eight plays. Today's video, I'll probably only have like three. But if you want to see the rest, either hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Uh, then I'll, maybe I'll try to put out the full scheme at some point. Or it'll be in my Join Now community or Patreon. Link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Or my, you know, the ebook, obviously. So to start off this video, I'm going to show the drive course. Corner. I, I usually use the seams play, but in this particular video, I'll show you that it's obviously different. If you can tell by the play art, the seams play is not the same. I think it's normally called the PA seams. It's much better. Uh, in this particular playbook, it's kind of broken. So I have to use the drive corner now to get the same effect of a play that I typically use. So we're going to start off with that. I'll explain that real quick. Because like I said, it's very similar, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Then on the defensive side, we'll start off with a with Tampa 2. Before I get into the play, I just want to let you guys know this video is brought to you by MMOXP. If you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, I currently have like a 94 overall team. Check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Other than that, let's going to get right into the play. So this play here, this route that Samuel is running, um, that's kind of the important route. I don't really need any of the other routes. You can see if I go to the regular PA seams play, it's definitely different. It's definitely augmented. Um, there are some, there's still some value to the seams play. I'll go over what you can use that for, but ultimately this play here has always been about the Y route, so I can't really deal with anything else. Um, I can run it just like this. This is a regular cover two zone. I can run it just like this, and this Y route will typically get outside of the cover too but you can see it's contested so to me the best way to run this play now is to always motion over uh the tight end and put him on a streak that's pretty much the way to go against zone i'm flatting the y route the x route or the uh AUK or the x route and against man i'm going to put him on a zig uh for a check down either way it's going to be a good check down and then this is pretty much going to be the play and then like i said you have this i mean i don't know what happened there i think i got sacked but you can see he's going to get outside of that pretty much every time so we're going to do that from the sidelines, see what that uh, see what that looks like. Um, the faster, I mean, if you motion over Bourne, I like Bourne too. I mean, he's faster. He'll he'll get up the field a little bit quicker. You can have the same effect. Sometimes I motion up the running back, although I'd rather have him blocking. You just need somebody with some speed to pull that safety back because if the receiver gets up the field faster than the safety, it's not going to have that, or faster than the, the, y, the y route, it's not going to have that effect. And then you can see here, I mean, I'm just not quite getting going. But like I said, if you have enough speed, you can get going with this play. And then if you have somebody running a lot of man cover one, a lot of man blitzes, man cover two, it's all going to have the same success. If it's man cover two, you got to motion over uh, the, the A route still because you have to pull that safety back. Unless you have a really big speed advantage, once again, it's, like I said, I still have, uh, when it comes to my mud team, I don't necessarily have here. But this Y route here is going to have a lot of success against man coverages uh, as it basically just gets outside of it. I mean, it's a really good play against man. It's also really good, good against play against cover four quarters. It's also a very easy one play touchdown. You don't need any adjustments against cover four quarters, um, which, you know, there's not a lot of plays out there that do that, um, that just basically just score one play touchdowns without any adjustments against cover four quarters. That's why it's one of the better defenses, in my opinion, in the game. Uh, but, you know, this play here, I mean, I would just probably block the running back and this Y route is going. I'm not going to show this too much because I've already broken down the PA seams in the same way, so I'm just kind of rushing through this. But you can see how you can have the same effect. The next play I'm going to show... Uh, I'll give you guys a cover three beater uh, and a, a really good play, the slot post. We're going to pick that. So against cover three, all you have to do is streak these inside receivers and motion out. Bourne, I'll block the running back. 
Um, but this is pretty much it. And the wire out here is going to get right up the seam. Uh, as long as I bullet and pass lead outside, we have a really easy touchdown against cover three. Uh, there's a lot of cover three beaters in this formation, but this is one of the ones that uh, I prefer. Uh, you could also put this X route here on a smart route, but I don't really think it does or too much or really matters. You could also leave the running back in as a good check down, but I want that extra blocking. Uh, but like I said, I mean, once he gets, you know, to a point, the, these outside cornerbacks kind of sag off just a little bit when it comes to the uh, the wheel routes. I'll go to replay real quick and show that. This is pretty much only a, um, you know, this really only works for, for cover three. Let's go to the replay, check that out. But you can see, I mean, if you watch this receiver here, the safety has to stay in the middle because there's streaks on both sides. Uh, which is really what keeps him home. Uh, and then, like I said, this guy here, he just has to slow down a little bit to react to that guy. The second he does that, I'm already throwing the ball. You can see he's in his back pedal, but the second he just hesitates a little bit and sags off for that other receiver, I'm already winding up. So that's really what you're looking for. You're just looking for that slow down, or basically the same old if he's even, he's leaving. I mean, you're just judging distance. Once this receiver's even with that cornerback, he's pretty much going to be gone. The next play I'm going to show, I'm going to show a really good man-beating play. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Like I said, once again, I ran this a lot in the gameplay. The last gameplay I put out, I'll put a link in the description for that, is the Z spot. This play right here, is a, we've got some really good man-beating concepts. We'll pick that. So this play here, this is a man-beating play for the most part. I like to really just put the, the, the X route here on a zig. I mean, what he's doing is kind of a man beating concept but it's just way it just develops way too long i mean you can see that it still works you don't have to make that adjustment but i want something to develop a little bit quicker this is pretty much there's there's nothing but really man plays here um the b route here all i'm going to do is, is streak him everybody else i'm pretty much going to smart route um because there's just except for the extra i'm just gonna put him in a zig because basically the way that these these are now you can see i mean this is going to develop you know 30 yards down the field the the corner route here that's something i'm not really waiting for that i want something that's going to develop a lot quicker uh so putting these all in small routes are really going to be key and then streaking the b route just to pull coverage back uh the y route here is actually going to be one of the better routes too if you come out somebody coming out in a traditional nickel package they're going to be facing a linebacker they're going to beat that pretty much every time which since you have a three tight end set or a three um receiver set with a tight end you're pretty much going to see that a lot uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, nickel packages. That's pretty much what people like to use. So if you get that look, that's definitely a good look. The A route's pretty good, but it's not going to work out too well based on the fact that he's, he's facing a cornerback. So if you do have a, uh, a linebacker, you just kind of have to locate where your linebacker is in coverage, and that's pretty much going to decide who your who your best route is. As you can see right here, this, this C route, is a, I call it a C route, corner route, whatever. It's definitely a better route. So now I'm going to cover one man where you can see the Y route is still uh he's on a cornerback now but you can see he's still getting outside so you can see that's probably the best play on uh something like this whether it's man uh zero blitz man cover two man cover one doesn't really matter the best side is going to be the left side the y route and the uh the z or the x route there the zig route are all going to be you know i'm having a lot of success to that side so that's pretty much the reads now like i said it looks like they augmented the tight ends route I just made a video about the A route, but it definitely looks different, and it's definitely reacting differently. Uh, as you can see, I mean, he's just not having the same success, although he does still get open, so it's still a decent route. Another good cover three play would be the PA cross. Uh, this is something I'll go ahead and I'll pick that. We'll go ahead and we'll pick cover three. So against cover three, I actually got this play backwards. The, the X route here does an excellent job of pulling the cover three cornerback. Just streak these inside receivers, uh, the A route and the Y route. And then the Y route is going to be a very good play uh, up the cover three seam one more time. Now, I threw that a little bit early, um, but you can see how you know, it still worked out. Doesn't really work out. It used to work out to the other receiver um, where the, with the zig route. The zig route used to pull that. Or not the zig route. I guess I can call it a zig route. I'm not really sure what it is. But it used to work out better with that. So, like I said, this play here, this definitely creates a lot of separation and really quickly. So, all you really have to do is bullet pass lead away from that safety and you have an easy one play touchdown so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there like i said i'm gonna have more plays on my patreon and my join now community tab if you guys want to check that out uh links in the description below other than that there's always the ebooks as well and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below